I'm Noble from BB Boys Airsoft, uh, BBO2. Um, today I'm here to talk to you about my new Tokyo Marui High Kappa 4.3. Now, I don't think Tokyo Marui needs an introduction. It's basically my Gucci Airsoft, everybody knows what it is. But that's why I was excited to get my hands on the new uh, High Kappa 4.3. First impressions, um, right out of the box actually. Uh, it's very lightweight. I was reading up, it's actually an all plastic build. Uh, that makes the slide go a lot faster. Um, I saw in videos, I see it on uh, my local field, people shoot this thing. It's just like butter, it just goes. Now, getting more into the gun, uh, there's a lot of them. I read up, you can, this is one of the most customizable uh, pistols held in the market. Everybody gets a high cap, everybody mods the shit out of it. Uh, you can take the sight off. Uh, you can you can put anything. You got a 20 millimeter rail system on the bottom here, so you got a lot of room to do what you want on the bottom. Uh, you can put tracers on this. All right, you can you can replace basically everything about it. All right, you can make everything full metal, full polymer, anything you want to do with it. Now, uh, I was a little surprised by the high cap max, high cap max, because uh, they're really big compared uh, to other airsoft mags I've seen. You know, the 1911 mags, very skinny. Uh, I've seen. Beretta mags, uh, about the same, and the Glock mags, obviously, uh, like that's the, the biggest I've seen. The, the high cap of mags, very, very big, they're very, very wide. Uh, they hold to 30 uh, BBs, I believe, um, and you can use propane, green gas, you know. 20, 20 Gs, I believe, shoots at 250 to 300 FPS, so you're gonna be somewhere uh, in there. Now, uh, let's cut to the range and uh, let's get some shots off, shall we? Okay, so uh, we're out here in the brisk Canadian weather. It's cold out today. I get this done. Uh, so finally, we're gonna fire our high kappa. Uh, do it. First impressions. After firing that a couple times, that was pretty fucking good. Uh, the slide back super crisp. Uh, I know my Glock right here. Um, the blowback is a little <laughs> wonky. Uh, kind of like it's kind of weird. You kind of just sense like my Glock like kind of going feels like it's gonna fucking collapse. So with this, uh, it feels super stable. It feels super good. Uh, it's again super light. Um, Safety, good place. All right, if you're in a situation where you need to pull your sidearm, safety's right here. You can just pull it out, fire a couple shots. This is a really nice gun compared to the things I've used in the past. All right, going for another fire. Remember, everybody, always ride bro. Again, uh, high kappa. Uh, after firing that, I can't wait to use it in the game. It's super crisp, super light. It's definitely going to be a reliable sidearm. Uh, not saying W Glock wasn't, but compared to that, uh, this is literally a really like I, I can't get over how good I'm liking this gun, man. It fits good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, look into your local retailers to get it. Uh, I got mine for about. Uh, 180 to 200 depends on where you get it. Uh, that's just because I live in Canada. I know an e bike it's like 150. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it again. Easily modifiable. Um, easy to, yeah. All I can say. Thank you for watching, Beauty Boys Airsoft. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, and if you pick up the gun, I hope you like it. Thoughts, Mike? No thoughts. Like